All right, I'm about to walk you through what I do when I'm looking for a cruise and a few little cruise tips and apps maybe to help you when you book and after you book. Enjoy. All right, when I'm looking for a cruise, the first thing I do is go to iCruiseFinder.com. Uh, and I also will do this on my phone, uh, most likely on the app. They do have a good app. Uh, and this is the main page. But what I like to do is I click here, find a cruise. I don't hit any of that stuff. And then I go right here. You have all these options. I like to go by sailing date. Uh, to be honest, that's wh where I start the process of narrowing down something. So let's go here. Uh, let's go to, let's close that. Let's go to July of this year, 2023. And as you can see, you can pick, um, you know, multiple months or whatever. And sea cruises. And you go here to uh, sort it by lowest price. And Margaritaville at sea, uh, I'm not really looking for that cruise brand. So what you can do then is on the left uh, here, you can also filter and sort out different things. So let me pick the, I'm gonna pick like the, the major US cruise lines. Let's do Carnival, Celebrity, you know, Disney. Never been on Disney, want to go. Virgin, never been, want to go. Let's do Royal. And where are the other two? Princess, oh, I missed them. Holland, MSC at the bottom and Norwegian. Oh, there we go. And let's filter those, let's update those results here. All right, now let's sort it again by lowest. Okay, so here we go. On the MSC Poesia, Poesia, excuse me if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, that's in another uh, country. So let's narrow this down to uh, all my closest ports. So in Florida, we have five main ports here in Florida. So Fort Lauderdale, Jacksonville. Let's go up here to Miami. Let's do Port Canaveral slash Orlando. And then we'll go down to Tampa to round it out. Let's update. All right, so let's sort it again. Lowest first, that really helps. Okay, here we go, three night cruise on the MSC Seaside. All right, 349 per person. Uh, double occupancy rule. Let's see here, let's click on it for more data. That's not loading, but here's the itinerary. It looks like it goes to their private island. And since it's three days, it's probably going to spend the night there, which actually I would be interested in that there. Yeah, two nights, two days in Ocean K. It's a beautiful island. We've been there once um, and I heard they do nighttime shows. So that is a kind of a, a good incentive to, to book a cruise that would stay the night there. They have a nighttime experience, kind of. Uh, you can do all these options here, book with them. But what I like to do is go straight to the cruise site. So that kind of helped me narrow down that time frame, basically, and the price. The, I like the budget. Uh, here we go. Let's go to MSC uh, Cruises. And we're going to view cruises. And MSC's website is not the most friendly, I will say, for me. So I normally just look for the ship. Here it is, MSC Seaside. And then now I'm going to reset these dates because it's got it all populated for the whole year. Let's pick July 20th. And yep, that price does match what the uh, iCruise Finder had. $349 per person uh, double occupancy. Let's just verify that here. Yep, $349. Let's click to see the details. And uh, the Seaside is one of their newer ships. So here we go. This is their lowest cruise rate, basically. That's gonna be an inside room, basic room. We do have this option here. It's a best value. They're claiming you get a little bit of stuff. You get one of their drink packages, but it looks like it's like the middle drink package. Uh, you get the browse Wi-Fi package, which is like their middle package. 
and you get onboard credit, but that varies per the size of room you get. So the more money you spend on the room, the more onboard credit you'll get. Uh, that's a little too high, so let's just go here. Okay, right now we're at, for two people, 698 total. That's pre-taxes uh, and no gratuities. Let's go here. Now you can pick the room. So the basic room here, that's that 349 interior. You have balconies, suites, and then the yacht club. Let's go ahead and do a balcony. Once you do that, MSC has these other options too to upgrade your experience further. Uh, we've never done any of the other two. We've always just stuck with the Bella, uh, the main benefits here on the left. But as you can see, there's different options. Now, I, I read somewhere back in the day, these options included your alcohol and internet at one point, but they took that away. Uh, Aria would be the top of the line, Fantastica is the middle, and Bella is the basic, and that's what I'm gonna stick with. Now, I'm not gonna fill all this in, obviously, because, uh, you know, no need to, but there's our taxes per person in fine print. Uh, so it's like se almost 74 bucks. There's the total cruise fare right now for that balcony room, 858. And now I'm just gonna add those taxes to it. Uh, so 73, 54, two times, basically. And I'm gonna do it two times instead of, I should have multiplied it by twice and added 858, but you know me, that's how I like to. All right, one more time here, 73, 54. And the total is $1,005.08, which we could knock that down if we go to an inside room too. I also like to go to Expedia, um, Expedia.com. I don't, I've never booked on here, but it's also a good way to narrow down time frames. And a lot of times people will have credit on Expedia from, you know, other travels and points. Like you could have a couple hundred on credit. You could apply towards the cruise. So it may be a better deal. I usually don't find it to be a better deal only because it, it, you know, it's kind of designed for people with points already, I believe. Uh, to get a good discount So here I'm looking at I did a basic search and as you can see I you know the prices seem to be in my opinion a little high um, Now of course with my login with carnival I, let's look at this uh, Royal Caribbean though first Let's kind of see what's up. What's good about Expedia though is it will show the different rooms give you a lot of information now some of those rooms will be, those pictures I guess will be generic and may not actually represent the way the, the, the ship and those rooms look right now. But it's a good ballpark, you know, picture. And as you can see they've got, got it laid out here, the different sizes. And what's interesting is the balcony is actually cheaper than an uh, ocean view room as you saw. They may be the only ocean view room um, available is a more of a suite style. Uh, yeah, Expedia is mainly what I used to use before I went to iCruise Finder. I've never booked through either of them, but I use them as a way to narrow down uh, a cruise. This member specific discount, I think that's if you have a, a sign on with um, Carnival. Like right now, they may be doing a promotion, and if you have a, a VIFP number, that base price should match what you'll find at the carnival website which i get a slightly better deal with the casino rate and different things so i don't normally ever book through here but it's a good way to get a ballpark figure if you need to just get a budget uh and a time frame kind of locked down so this is another website if you're more comfortable using that than icruise finder And Shipmate app, uh, I recommend everybody who cruises, I, I, if you don't, I recommend getting it. I've noticed lately less people seem to be using it, but uh, it's available on Android and Apple Store. And uh, here's a good look at how the app actually looks on your phone. So this is from my phone earlier today. And what's cool I like about it is it saves all your cruises, um, your past, and your future cruises which I have 21 past cruises. And as you can see, my only one coming up is 472 days away. 
but uh, there's a lot of stuff in, in here you can do. You can set up alerts for like, I wanna see if this balcony price changes. So they'll email me when it does, whether it's up or down. Then I can see about maybe upgrading. Uh, it shows you your itinerary. Um, it has reviews on a lot of things. If people have done those uh, different excursions that you can look at. Now this is on the new. That was me. You can also make that sound on the app. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> startled me again, and it startled me earlier. Um, this ship is new, so there's not going to be a lot of data filled in. You'll have these categories, but there's not going to be photos there. Those are all the different staterooms available. And you can also go look at the decks and the venues per deck. There's 19 decks on this uh, ship that will debut later this year. Let's go to deck eight. Uh, that was one of my favorite decks on the Mardi Gras and Celebration. There's a lot of food there and entertainment. And as you can see, you can see the layout and see what's going to be there. And then those reveal soon uh, the fun thing. That's when it's announced the actual theming of that area, which on every now three of these ships in the carnival fleet that area in particular will have a different theme or a meaning but it's just pretty cool i like this app you can also uh, chat with people on your sailing or chat with people in that boat group or chat with other cruisers in general here's some rendered uh, computer picture someone put up of the upcoming ship uh, now once the ship debuts there'll be a lot more data there with the photos and reviews these are people who have uh, just recently joined, or not recently, some of them are a while ago, uh, this sailing in particular, uh, which is pretty cool. Roll call chat, uh, that's available on every sailing, but of course no one has started talking yet on this one because it is pretty far out. Probably still a small group that, only a certain amount of people actually use this app, that crew, so I recommend doing it. Uh, you can get help with things from other cruisers. You can see room reviews. Uh, you can look at deck cams, which is pretty neat. Um, Carnival's deck cams are not on here right now, which is interesting, but uh, let's go to MSC here. And we can look at some of their live, it's live, it may be uh, delayed slightly, but live uh, deck cams of some of their boats, ships. Yeah, it looks pretty rainy over there right now. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's better. Anyway, this is a quick look at how the iCruise Finder app looks on your phone. Uh, this is normally how I use it. Another quick recommendation is to join the Facebook group for your particular sailing. Uh, there's going to be a lot of like-minded people, uh, people with ideas and tips, and they organize events. I've seen uh, door decorating contests, uh, slot pools, uh, group slot pools, uh, just, just fun information and actually valuable information as to like which terminal you're, you're going to be to, uh, departing in or arriving in, and parking tips, hotel stay tips. And, and just a, a lot of uh, fun and camaraderie, I guess is what you would say. Anyway, I highly recommend joining your Facebook group for your particular sailing. And that's pretty much it for some of my tips about uh, booking a cruise, uh, how to book a cruise, and then right after you book a cruise, some things to download and to utilize. Anyway, thank you for watching. So the reason why I like to use those sites in particular is I'm not really loyal to any one cruise brand. I prefer Carnival because I get a better deal from the casino, but I use that really for time frame and then to get my budget. Uh, it, it weeds out a lot of individual websites so I don't have to go to each cruise brand. I can kind of just see their sailings. Uh, and I think it's, 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 it's very helpful. Uh, if you have a time you can get off and then from there you can work with your budget. Anyway, I recommend it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. If you can, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to see more. Bye!